Hey friends, I'm glad you're joining me. I'm getting ready to do a read aloud. Are you gonna listen? We are going to read a story called What's on My Plate? Choosing from the Five Food Groups by Jennifer Boothroyd. Come and join me. What's on My Plate? Choosing from the Five Food Groups by Jennifer Boothroyd. We need food. Time to eat. Food gives our bodies energy. What is your favorite meal? Food also gives our bodies nutrients. Nutrients help us stay healthy. Different foods have different nutrients. There are five main food groups. We should eat foods from each group every day. Each of these foods is from one of the five food groups. Fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are two important food groups. They are a large part of a healthy diet. What fruits and veggies do you like? Do you see any fruits or vegetables in that basket that you would like to eat? I see some watermelon. I love watermelon. Fruits make a yummy cereal topping. Bananas and blueberries are fruits. Many fruits taste sweet. Kids your age should eat about one to one and a half cups of fruit every day. That's at least 32 grapes or one large banana. Do you think you eat one to one and a half cups of fruit each day? The vegetables in this salad are raw. Broccoli and peas are vegetables. Some people like to eat cooked vegetables. Some people like to eat them raw. You should eat about one and a half cups of vegetables each day. 18 baby carrots or three stalks of celery are the right amount. It is important to eat different types of vegetables. Vegetables can make your meal colorful too. Look at all those yummy vegetables. Grains. Grains are plants like wheat, oats, and rice. Many types of bread are made from grain. Some grains are called whole grains. Whole grains have more nutrients than refined grains. Refined grains have been milled or ground up. Milling removes some of the grain's nutrients. I am looking at that picture of the grains and I see pasta and rice. I love pasta and rice. Brown rice and oatmeal are whole grains. White rice and plain bagels are made from refined grains. Whole grain cereal makes a healthy breakfast. Try to choose a cereal without much sugar. Do you think Fruit Loops would be a good cereal to choose for breakfast? No, what about Raisin Bran? Let's keep reading. You should eat about five ounces of grain foods each day. Half should be whole grains. Eating one cup of cornflake cereal one cup of whole wheat noodles, and a small tortilla is enough grains for a day. Proteins and dairy. Meat and eggs have lots of protein. Our bodies use protein to grow muscles. Eating an omelet can help build muscles. How many of you wanna have strong muscles? Well, you better get those proteins. Grilled chicken has little fat. Too much fat can be bad for your heart. Chicken and fish are good meats to eat. They often have less fat than other types of meat. That makes them healthy choices. Not all protein comes from animals. Nuts and beans also have protein. Nuts are a tasty and crunchy protein source. Four ounces of high-protein foods is what you need each day. 
you can get one ounce of protein from 12 almonds or from one egg. This egg and veggie sandwich makes a healthy lunch. Many dairy foods come from cows. Dairy foods have calcium. Calcium makes bones grow strong. Skim milk has no fat and lots of nutrients. Milk is a dairy food. It is used to make yogurt and cheese. Choose dairy foods carefully. Some of these foods have too much fat. A slice of Swiss cheese on a sandwich and two cups of milk give you the dairy you need. Your body needs two and a half cups of dairy every day. Let's look at the next thing. Sometimes foods. Some foods are not very healthy and these foods have few nutrients. What do you see there? What do you think some sometimes foods might be? Let's look. Let's see if some of your answers are on these pages. They also might have too much sugar. Candy and soda have lots of sugar. Too much sugar is bad for our teeth. Oh, we learned that when our dentist came to visit us, didn't we? These candies are full of sugar. Other foods have too much fat. French fries and ice cream can have lots of fat. Cake is a sometimes food. These are foods we should eat only sometimes. People need to make good choices to have a healthy diet. Eating a healthy diet gives you energy to work and play. What is he eating there? It looks like he's having a healthy snack. What is that? That's right, it's celery and peanut butter. Are you eating enough of all five food groups? A good way to check is to keep a food log. Write down or draw a picture of the things you eat each day. After a few days, you can take a look to see how you did and see if you got enough of each food group each day. You know what else you could do, friends. When you eat dinner with your family tonight, you can see if you have something from each food group. Thanks for listening. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for reading along with me, friends. Hope to see you next time.